are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, I find it very, very interesting now that a few days after Donald Trump's attempted assassination, now people on the left are coming out and said, hey, we need to tone things down. Even though for years now, these people on the left have been calling for violence. When BLM and Antifa were in the streets destroying businesses in black neighborhoods, too, by the way, they said nothing. That was during the time, guys, when they told you to stay home. You couldn't go out and even go to a sporting event. Remember, the NFL played and there were no fans in the stands. In the NBA, they were in that bubble kneeling for the national anthem. No fans. No fans whatsoever, but BLM and BLM and Antifa were allowed to go out there and destroy the country. I find it very, very interesting, guys, because during that time in the left stream media, they were going all in on Trump. You guys remember what uh, Maxine Waters actually said, right? If you see anyone from his cabinet talking about the Trump administration, get in their face, cause a ruckus, that kind of thing. The left went nuts. Trump has broken these people, man. And they are definitely a part of the problem as to why there was an attempted assassination on President Trump. By the way, another person got killed. Yes, the media, people in the media, that blood on their hands, man. That blood on their hands. And by the way, guys, I know this is a little bit off topic, but uh, Joe Scarborough over there on MSNBS, they pulled his show off the air today. Yeah, pulled it off for today because they wanted to tone things down. I'm not giving the left any kind of credit, guys. Now, that actually brings us to one Charles Barkley, NBA Hall of Famer, one of the greatest players of all time. We know that Charles Barkley went on the Communist News Network, CNN, with Gail King, canceled after one season. And he said that he was going to punch black people that were actually wearing shirts of uh, Trump's mud shot in the face. He said he would commit violence on people that supported Trump. Well, Charles Barkley now is actually weighing in on the attempted assassination. And I really don't even want to hear it, man. I don't even want to hear it because Charles Barkley was a part of the problem. So let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday. At 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, you guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals for just $5 per month. Here we go. You guys remember this, guys. This is from March of this year. So what are we in? Uh, July, March, April, May, June, July. OK, about four months. OK, Charles Barkley said that he was going to punch black people when a T-shirt of Trump's mugshot. Yeah. He said that. But now all of a sudden, guys, Charles Barkley is now flipping the script. Look here. Charles Barkley offers thoughts on attempted Trump assassination. That's really F up. But Barkley, you are a part of the problem. You're a part of the problem, man. Now we got the video clip. And um, but it does say here just hours after the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. Charles Barkley took the stage in Lake Tahoe to wish the former president well. But you want to beat up his supporters, though, Charles. Now, all of a sudden, you want to wish him well. Really? You see, guys, the media, the left, they are part of the problem. Barkley is in Tahoe for the American uh, Century Championship, an annual celebrity golf tournament. Beer in hand, the Hall of Famer took a few minutes on Saturday night to speak out against the political violence aimed at Trump. But like I said, you are a part of that problem, Charles Barkley. People watching you, when you say you're going to punch anybody you see when Trump's mug shot in the face, you're part of the problem. But um, let's go ahead and listen in to this clip here of Charles Barkley. I don't like to be too serious, but I gotta be serious for a second. No, no, listen for a second. 
Something really sad happened today. Somebody tried to kill the President of the United States. Now, that is really fucked up. Now, I want to make Technically, it wasn't the President, it was the guy well, trying to kill the the President. Listen, I want, listen, I'm not going to get on here and act like I'm a Trump guy, but I want to say this. I wish President Trump health. I wish him health. Now, I want, I just said, I want to make it clear, because I know by the time Fox News shot my shit up tonight, they're going to say I'm voting for him. But I want to wish him the best. We should not be trying to kill the President of the United States. Right. Now, now, listen, okay, we can go back to having fun now. Hey. Yeah, let's not kill the President, but hey, you can knock, knock out his supporters, right? Yeah, man. These people are hypocrites, man. Hypocrites. Now, you can best believe, man, in the coming months, they're going to turn up the heat. People like Barkley, if he's actually talking on politics or whatever, he's going to go after Trump. He already said he will knock you out if you're wearing a Trump shirt. These people, man, are frauds, man. They're frauds. And we already exposed some of them, some of the uh, Democrat politicians out there. On the other channel, Black and White Network, because they were actually joking, man. Hey, he shouldn't have missed that kind of thing. Yeah, they wanted this man dead, man. They wanted this man dead. But they, you know what? They instigated all this, man. People like Charles Barkley, man. Like I said, man, all time great basketball player. Can't take that away from him. Can't take that away from him, man. But Charles Barkley, when he goes on the Communist News Network, man, with Gail King, and he talks about uh, punching uh, Trump supporters. Yeah, that's the problem, man. You're instigating stuff like this. Barkley is a part of the problem. Yeah, you may love him on uh, TNT. A lot of people do. He's great on TNT. But he stepped on to that CNN Democrat plantation. And he said he would commit violence on people. And now, all of a sudden now. You're going to say. Oh, no one should actually uh, shoot the president. You think? Nobody should be punching um, anybody wearing a Trump shirt either. Nobody should. Because you got people out there, guys, that are really, really afraid to actually wear a Trump shirt or um, hang a Trump flag. But if you actually um, see somebody out there with a, uh, a Biden shirt, which you're not going to really find anybody wearing a Biden shirt, but you see people wearing Obama shirts right now. Hey, nobody's going to say anything. You know why? Because they're not going to go out there and, and attack you for wearing an Obama shirt. But people on the left, man, these Trump deranged people, they're crazy. And Barkley is part of the problem, man. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.